Paul George took the podium for his exit interview today, just like every other Thunder player does at the end of the season. Only unlike every other player, we don't know if George has exited stage left for good. See, George is a free agent this summer, so while the season's over, the suspense has really just begun for OKC. George averaged just under 22 points per game this year. When OKC traded for him last summer, it was well known that George has been interested in possibly playing in Los Angeles, where he's from. Now OKC has to hope. It's more excited about staying with the Thunder. Everybody would love to play for their home uh, in one way or another. Um, but that, that won't be done. That's not like, you know, the only, you know, option for, for why I want to go somewhere is because it's home. Now it's been expected that Carmelo Anthony would opt in to stay with the Thunder. That's given his salary for next year will be $28 million. However, Melo's role was heavily reduced in these playoffs. Today he bristled at the ideas of taking less money or coming off the bench. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sacrificing no bench role, so you can... That's out the question. As far as sacrificing uh, finance, you know, finances and the, the, the economics of the game of basketball, when that time come, that time will come. The NFL draft finishing up today in Dallas. Trey Flowers picked by the Seattle Seahawks. Obo Okoronkwo going to the LA Rams. And OSU wideout Marcel Aitman heading to the Oakland Raiders. OSU spring football season is in the books. Fox 23's Heather Geller was at Boone Pickens Stadium today watching the Cowboys' new starting quarterback in action. Taylor Cornelius had big shoes to fill today, replacing Mason Rudolph, who was just drafted by the Steelers. But the new QB is a no stranger to this system. Cornelius, a redshirt senior, has been through it all here as Mason's backup. Now, finally getting the chance to take things over. It's very satisfying to know that all your hard work pays off. I mean, in the, the day, that's what you want to do. Taylor's been around here forever. He understands our offense. I don't think there's any question he'll distribute the ball properly, and I think we have enough guys that can make plays. And as you heard Gundy say there, he's very confident in what Cornelius can do and has no worries really about his new guy behind center. In Stillwater, covering news that matters, Heather Geller, Fox 23 Sports.